In this video, I'd like to go over how we can take time and convert time using a 24-hour clock. So first of all, it's important to think about why we even need a 24-hour clock, also called military time. Well, in the health sciences, specifically with dosage calculations, you're going to be given this military time in 24-hour time because if we're just given something like 7 colon 0, 0 without the AM or PM, there could be some confusion whether or not we mean AM or PM. And that's a 12-hour difference which could really make a significant difference in the medication and in the health of the patient uh, if we were to supply it 12 hours off of when we were actually supposed to administer the drug. So this is why we use the military time to avoid errors if AM and PM were missing. If we look at this chart, in the first and third column, we see here the regular time, all right, and that's quote unquote regular time, and this was borrowed from the resource down below. This is the Greenwich mean time, the regular time, and in the second and fourth column are the respective times in military time. Now, for those who have not seen this before, you might be able to see some you know, common traits among the regular time and military time. 3 a.m. is 0300 or 0300. 6 a.m. is 0600. Where it starts to get a little bit weird is if you look at the values in p.m. So here we have 1 p.m. is 1300. 8 p.m. is 2000 or 2000. These times here start to get weird in the afternoon. So you're welcome to use this chart as you learn this, but it is expected that you'll be able to convert between this without looking at a chart. And you'll find on the next page especially that this isn't too challenging. So let's take a look at some of examples, but also some ways that we can think about converting between the two types of time. So one way to think about time on the 24-hour clock is to think about the number of hours that have elapsed so far that day. And what I mean by that, if it's 4 a.m., think about how many hours have actually elapsed or have gone on during that day. All right, that's very early in the morning. The day starts, we know, at 12 a.m. So 4 a.m., only four hours have passed. That's going to stay the same. Military time, you can think about it as the total number of hours and minutes that have passed so far in that new day. That's one way that I would strongly recommend to think about that. That also means that anything that is in the p.m., right, anything in the afternoon might change. So that is one informal guideline that tends to, to be thrown around. If you see p.m., just add 12. So for example, 2 p.m., 12 hours have passed, gives us to noon, then two hours after 12 p.m. or noon, we're going to have 1,400. That can be misleading in a few ways. Take example, noon or 12 p.m., 12 o'clock p.m. That's a p.m. Do we add 12 hours to that? The answer is no, we don't, because that's still going to be the same. Where it starts to get weird is 1 p.m. and on, so 1 p.m. to 2 p.m., all the way up to 11.59 p.m. That's where it starts to get strange. So that could be one way. You're not always going to add 12. If it's after 1 p.m., then you will add you know, 12 hours to that time. Some other things to keep in mind, when we write our numbers in military time, we don't have a colon and we don't have an AM or PM. It's just four digits, where the first two digits are the number of hours that have passed in that day and the last two digits are the number of minutes that have passed within that hour. Another informal guideline that could be or tend to uh, cause some issues is if it's a.m., then it's going to stay the same. But think about if it's 12.30 a.m. 12.30 a.m. is very, very early in the morning, right? Just 30 minutes after midnight. That's not going to stay 12 130. It's not going to be 1230. It's going to actually be 0030. And the reason why, in that new day, no hours have passed, but only 30 minutes have passed. So some thinking that could be going on here. Anything between 1 a.m. and noon, that's going to basically stay the same. Where it starts to get a little strange is after 1 p.m. and that first hour of the day. But essentially, this idea of adding and subtracting, if we wanted to add 12 hours 
to the Greenwich Mean Time. That could be appropriate if it's in an AM time, or excuse me, if it's a PM time, or if it's an AM time, it's most likely, unless it's between noon, or excuse me, 12 AM and one, it's gonna stay the same. So with that being said, let's look at some of these examples. 1.15 AM, my thinking goes to, is that early in the morning, it's AM, so that's probably gonna stay the same, and in fact, it does, because this is just one hour and 15 minutes into the new day, so I would write 0115 because it's one hour and 15 minutes into that new day. 2.35 p.m. This is not two hours into the day. This is many hours into the day. We're in the afternoon. So how can I convert this? I can add O, or excuse me, I can add 12 hours to the two hours and get 14.35. Now, Military time is 12.10. We're 12 hours into the day, 10 minutes into that hour. That's going to be just 12.10 p.m. I don't subtract 12. If I subtract 12, that would be 0, 010, and that's not going to be correct, right? We're not just 10 minutes into the day. We are 12 hours and 10 minutes into the day. That's 12.10 p.m. 2.45 a.m., that's early in the morning. Only 2 hours and 45 minutes have passed. So this is 02.45. Military time, 04.14. This is 4 hours, 14 minutes into the day. We're still AM, so 4.14 AM. What about 1800? We can already tell here that this is going to be in the afternoon, right? So we can subtract 12 from the number of hours to bring us back, bring us back to a time that is appropriate in Greenwich Mean Time. So if we subtract 12 from 18, we get... 6, so this is 6 o'clock, and we know it's in the afternoon p.m. 11.30 p.m., this is very much into the day, right? We're only 30 minutes away from the new day. So we can add 12 to the number of hours. We get 23.30. 12 p.m., this is noon. This is going to stay the same, right? This is 12 hours into the day, 12.00 or 12.00. And finally, 110 or 0110. This is 110 in the morning or 110 a.m.